it's sunday morning yesterday we were busy all day like from the morning all the way until like 8 30. i didn't have any time to do anything for school yesterday but um it is i'm still learning how to read a clock like this i know it's bad but six seven eight nine it is 9 35. i'm gonna try to finish my notes from last week maybe start on some for this week but i really want to get like onto my care plan my math for this week <clears throat> and just kind of get ahead of the schedule because i've been feeling behind like this past week i felt really behind and i just don't love that feeling so i'm gonna go ahead and update my board here <laughs> It's automatic, me and you are classic Don't wanna leave you alone No, I can't be passive Losing you is tragic I keep calling your phone Summertime's when I fall in love with you This is my plan for the week So I have Zoom Mondays and Tuesdays And then on Monday <clears throat> I am going to try to meet and have a study group from 12 to 2 um, with some of my classmates, but this is only if my babysitter agrees <laughs> to stay and babysit for a couple extra hours, so I guess we'll see. And then my ticket to lab is due on Wednesday, and um, we might be doing our Foley checkoffs Wednesday. It's either going to be Wednesday or Thursday, but I don't know what day exactly, so I'm going to just not put it on, but we have to have our S bar and med sheet due by um, Wednesday so that if we get picked to do our med pass, then we're ready to do that. And then Thursday, our care plan is due, and we're going to be meeting at our clinical site. Um, and it's so, um, the school's about halfway between my house and the clinical site. So we're going to be leaving from campus and going the rest of the way over there. <clears throat> so we'll be meeting at the clinical site at 1.30. We're doing just a little tour before um, we actually start doing our clinicals there because we're going to be doing clinicals in a few weeks. And then... Um, the therapeutic diet worksheet, we have a worksheet due on Friday and our math assignment is due on Friday and then we have a discussion post due on Saturday and my Canvas quiz is due on Sunday. So I got a lot of work to do, so let's get right into it. You, but everything that you do, everything that you do, I'm so scared to lose you. So scared to lose you so the times when I, I just finished my zoom for today and we went over musculoskeletal system and then the urinary system and um I've kind of been writing my notes so yesterday I didn't really talk to you guys a lot I was a little stressed out but um yesterday was like the whole Verizon outage thing and so my phone was on SOS all day almost it was until like two o'clock my wi-fi was also out <laughs> and i realized at like almost it was like 8 15 ish so i like packed up my stuff super fast my husband stayed home because i couldn't get a hold of my sister-in-law to come watch my kids early so he stayed until she got here so that i can go down and set up everything that i needed to to get on my zoom i was on zoom all day and then i met with one of my classmates after she just came down to starbucks with me and we went over a lot of like the powerpoints or a lot of the systems that um we already went over so we went over like the general inspection how you do the vital signs and skin hair and nails questions you'd ask if you they have a, having problems with lesions like the a b c d e f and g but um i got a message today and they're doing open labs now from on tuesdays from 
two to six, I think. So I also figured out from last week that I don't have to hand write them. I could put them in my little magic keyboard here and type all of my things out. So like this is for the musculoskeletal um, common problems are fractures, osteoporosis, rheumatoid arthritis, and then what that looks like. So um, I kind of been doing this and it's a lot faster when you're typing it out. Who would have thought that? Yes, they do Summertimes when I fell in love with you With you it's warm forever And I love this weather You make life better You're perfect for me Sometimes Yeah, yeah Maybe it's I just ate It is <clears throat> 5.12. I have a few assignments due, but definitely for tomorrow I have to do the med sheet, S bar, take it to lab. The other stuff can wait, but those three cannot. So tomorrow we're going to be doing our med, med passes. We're doing practice med passes <clears throat> on our patient this week, so I have to make sure that that stuff's ready. Okay, so I'm going to talk to you guys about what my process is here. I got my study music playing in the background on if you just say play study music she puts on chill lo-fi love it for when i'm studying my patient on her medication list benazepril hydrochloride 20 milligrams oral tablet daily so i'm gonna get out my little drug book here i'm gonna see if i can find benazepril i don't know if i'm saying that right so don't judge me if I'm not, but I'm trying my best, okay? Okay. Okay, so if I don't find it in the bees, which I'm not seeing it in the bees, I will look in the index. Oh, it's on here. It says 148. So it's under ACE inhibitors. Here it is in the book, and it's under ACE inhibitors, benazepril the very first one here um if it's a diuretic it's under diuretics it's not under the med name so here this is under ace inhibitors on this paper it asks pharmacologic classification which you'll find at the very bottom of this box so it says pharmacologic is ace inhibitor and then indications so right here says indications so hypertension so hypertension so it says it's metabolized by the liver here so you're gonna watch the liver labs that's gonna be one of your assessment parameters our instructor wants us to put that it is a safe dose so she's taking 20 milligrams and it says here it says that for benazepril 10 milligrams once daily Increase gradually to ma maintenance dose of 20 to 40 milligrams per day. It doesn't say a max dose, but it does say that you're gonna start at 10 and then you're gonna gradually go up. So I'm gonna just write that this is a safe dose because you can go up to 40 milligrams a day. Good morning. I just made it to school and I realized that. Um, I forgot to do my ticket to lab last night because I was like doing homework and then I was going to um, make dinner and then do homework again but then I got the call to go play softball last night so I'm here trying to finish it it's actually a pretty easy one so luckily I I lucked out with that but I'm almost done and it is 726 so I'm good on time, but um, I'm going to finish this real quick. And then I got um, Starbucks, so I got myself a coffee. And then I got this avocado spread and a bacon sausage egg wrap. And oh my God, I tried this the other day when I was studying at Starbucks. And I'm telling you, 
just so good today usually our class is split in half the other half of the class is in lab today and we're in the lecture portion but we're coming together and we're gonna be all in the lecture portion it's gonna be a pretty packed class today classic do want to leave you alone do want to leave you alone oh i can't be passive losing you is tragic i keep calling your phone Summer times when I fell in love with you I still love you girl But everything that you do Everything that you do I'm so scared to lose you I'm so scared to lose you laid in bed and I took like an hour nap and I just I really needed it today I don't know some days I come home and I feel very overwhelmed and I question myself like can I do this it's not that like either I can or I can't it's like I have to you know I am going to do this I'm gonna get a good job I'm going to take care of my family and I'm gonna help people and that's the goal and this is what it takes and it's not easy I have to finish my care plan I got mine back from last week I like keeping them all together so when I move forward I can like reference them because she's like always in, like these um, terms um, stuff that like I could be using or should be using as shorthand in my notes. I got my work schedule so I start work next Friday and I'm really scared. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel nervous. I don't know if I can do work in school but I'm gonna try my best. So I have my S bar done. I have my med sheet done. I need to do my care plans. I haven't done them yet. And then my um, lab sheet. I filled out all the values that I could find, but I don't. I need to put in like the rationale for or the interpretation of like what those values mean. So they're pretty much all normal. So I gotta put in what all those mean. I'm gonna eat a beef stick kind of hungry. I was talking to my husband about dinner. I've been craving steak and I have low iron but I've this might be TMI so I had my baby three months ago and I've had I got my first period um, three weeks ago after having him it was my first period since having him and I've been bleeding for three weeks going on three and a half well it's been about three and a half so it's not stopping it's frustrating I hate being on my period and when it's like super long it's really hard too mentally so Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday at 725. It's the last day of my school week. Um, I finished my care plan this morning before I left the house. Um, that was the first thing I did when I woke up was I finished my care plan. I didn't pack anything because we're leaving at 12. I don't know what the plan is, but we're leaving at 1230 to go to like, it's like 20 minutes the opposite way of my house for our clinical site that we're gonna be starting in a few weeks. So we're leaving early today. But I just brought a few snacks um, cause I think me and uh, maybe a couple of the girls are gonna be from my class are gonna be trying to go have lunch after. Um, 
but I got a banana. I brought um, a little protein bar, these little kind bars. They're actually really good. I got them at Costco. They're like um, in a huge pack with like the caramel, there's caramel sea salt and a, what else? Um, a peanut butter one. And then I brought a little beef stick and some gummy bears. Oh, and then my coffee, of course. My husband went and got the creamer that I like, so I've been sipping on this, but um, it's almost time to head in. Yesterday, I forgot to tell you guys, I got checked off on Foley catheters, and so what happened was, <laughs> I was so scared. We were all 50 of us in one classroom and they were like, okay, everybody go up and sign up for like your list and they're split into two. So there's like 25 on each list. And my section, I was like, oh, I'll just wait. Like, cause there's no point. Cause I was in the very back corner. So like, there's no point in even trying to like get up there to sign my name. So I just waited until everybody was done. I went up there last. And you'll never guess what spot was open. The only spot that was open, everybody else signed up. The last spot was number one. Yeah, love that for me, <laughs> so funny. I was scared because I only had practiced one time. So we rushed into the lab and I got to practice again one more time right before. And luckily I got that in. Um, but I practiced one more time right before and then I went in and I passed it, so yay. <laughs> my homework that's due tomorrow I have my therapeutic diet worksheet due tomorrow and my math assignment due tomorrow the casino here is doing an expansion and the expansions grand opening is tonight so we're gonna go to that and check it out and hopefully win some money so far different beats same broken heart trying to find a way to show how love's supposed to truly grow Speak my love, heal my soul In whispers deep, I bear it whole Your touch, it's warm, but leaves me cold In different tongues, our stories told Eyes that search for something true Lost in ways I can't get through Every kiss, it's bittersweet Yearning hearts that so 